Amidst Accra's vibrant economic landscape, a critical transportation artery has struggled with chronic inefficiency. The road network between East Legon, Spintex and Tema Motorway, with the Flowerpot roundabout being at the centre of it all. Despite previous efforts to relieve congestion at the Flowerpot roundabout and improve access between the northern and southern parts of the Tema Motorway, the roundabout has, for many years, remained a challenge for thousands of commuters who are to contend with persistent road congestion which led to daily struggles in traffic, pollution and long travel times. If you watch the movement south to north of Accra, you see that we have a high volume of vehicles passing through Tetequashi and a high volume of vehicles passing through uh, the flower port to Spintas Road. The whole idea is to reduce these volumes. East Legon has only two entries into East Legon. That's the tunnel and then the Emmanuel Eye Clinic. So in the mornings, the tunnel is choked. The same is the Emmanuel Eye Clinic. And the volume coming out of East Legon and the other suburbs behind East Legon is huge and is growing at a very fast rate. <laughs> Change, however, is rising from the ground up. The Flower Pot Interchange Project, a bold vision by President Nana Akufuado to reconnect Accra. When I assumed office in January 2017, I did so with a resolute pledge to transform the infrastructure of our nation fully aware the robust infrastructure is the foundation upon which sustainable development is built. This isn't just about building roads, it's about building futures. An 802 meter mainline bridge, two ramp bridges spanning 220 meters and 2.5 kilometers of auxiliary roads engineering marvels designed to untangle a major traffic knot in Accra. The Ministry of Roads and Highways and the Department of Urban Roads has at its vision to improve mobility and the networks in the urban areas and also improve congestion, particularly at intersections. This project started as part of the Accra East Corridor project. And when I say Accra East Corridor, we are looking at the area bounded on the west by the Gifford Road the north by the motorway and the south by the beach road. In the Greater Accra Metropolitan Area Network, the motorway serves as a barrier which disconnects the north and the south. Happy to see the design which is carefully done to improve uh, tra traffic connectivity between the north and the south of the motorway, making uh, Chantumens and Bremer Camp area to the project's ambition stretches far. For the team behind the transformation, every decision is crucial. As part of developing this project, we also encountered a few challenges. For example, the old tunnel was abandoned. We have incorporated this and made sure that all those coming from Shiachi towards the Action Chapel area now have an exclusive road that they can use. We also created a ramp from Shiachi onto the bridge in a bit to relieve the congestion. We can now get onto the bridge and get onto the motorway, which takes you towards the eastern part of Accra. In addition, an exit into cantonments from the Gifford Road interchange has been built, all adding to the reshaping of the community's traffic flow. The entry and exit of the runabout at the Burma campsite is going to be four instead of three. So that those who are going straight into cantonments and into east, east of Accra Central can use that route. And then those going to central Accra and west of Accra can then use the Ewak road. Dual carriageways, smart ramps, public transport facilities, walkways, cycling lanes, roundabouts with fountains, street art, murals and a car park for 100 cars 
proud of our team's dedication, their hard working in completing this complex project under such challenge conditions. The use of the cantilever construction method uh, requiring meticulous precision also reflects our technical capabilities and our commitment to the excellence. I'm proud to see that we have maintained a very good safety record with zero accident through our entire construction period. A testament to our commitment to the well-being of both the, our workers and the public. This is urban development with people at its heart. Each element purposefully created for safer journeys, cleaner air, an improved community to save time and to beautify the environment for everyone to enjoy. The interchange's design prioritizes not just vehicles but all road users. As the interchange takes shape, so does a new vision of Ghana with an improved road network. <laughs> So, I can say of rules and pass also or the other. Mama, come on, come on, come on, come on, You go, since here, one must come, come on, 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 come In addition to the Flowerpot Interchange, the government has been busy building other interchanges, including the Pokoase, Temamotoe Phase 1, Ubechebilamte Phase 1, Tamale, East Legon, Suhum Interchanges, and the soon to be commissioned Ubechebilamte Phase 2 Interchange. This is not all, as there are seven other interchanges in various stages of construction across the country. All these interchanges stand as a bridge to Ghana's future, connecting not just roads, but opportunities.